Hi, Iowa Elementary. Are you like me and you're counting down the days to when you can go get your hair cut by someone else? I know I am. Today, I have a special treat for you. I have a book about hair that goes to school. It's called The Hair of Zoe Flippenbacher Goes to School, written by Laura Halsey Anderson, illustrated by Art Hoyd. Zoe Flippenbacher had one blue eye and one green eye and bright red hair that went on forever. When Zoe was a baby, she needed two strollers and two cribs and two high chairs, one for Zoe Flippenbacher and one for Zoe's hair. When she was two years old, Zoe's hair learned how to open the cookie jar. At three, her hair could turn on the TV pour a glass of juice, pet the cat, and play on the computer, all at the same time. At four, it learned to fly. Mom and Dad Flippenbacher threw out the brushes and combs. The hair of their Zoe was wild and beautiful. It was her sail, her kite, her flag. Zoe had Mrs. Broadhog for kindergarten. Mrs. Broadhog let Zoe's hair pick up the trash, erase the board, and set the table for snack. At nap time, the hair was a comfort. Zoe had Miss Trisk for first grade. Miss Trisk didn't fool around. School has rules, she said. No wild hair in my class. Zoe Flippenbacher's hair did not listen. When Miss Trisk wrote on the board, Zoe's hair tickled everybody. Miss Trisk sat Zoe in time out. Zoe's hair drew all over the walls. Miss Trisk took top charge of the situation. Big mistake. This must stop, shouted Miss Trisk. School has rules. Mistress demanded a meeting with the principals. Zoe's hair had to wait outside. The grown-ups agreed. School had rules. That hair had to be tamed. Zoe tried a ponytail. It didn't work. Zoe tried braids. No good. Zoe tried scrunchies, barrettes, clips, headbands, rubber bands, bobby pins, and duct tape all at the same time. The class held its breath and it worked. The hair stayed under control during spelling. A scrunchie broke during math, but the hair didn't move. Two barrettes slipped out during snack time, but the hair didn't move. First grade has rules, Miss Trisk reminded the class, and then she smiled. Zoe couldn't smile. It felt like all the rules in the world were sitting on top of her head. Miss Trisk started the science lesson. She held up a ball. This is the sun, and she held up another ball. Mercury orbits the sun. She picked up three other balls. This is Venus. Mars, and here is the Earth. She dropped the Earth. The class giggled. First grade has rules, Mistress reminded them. No giggling. Zoe lifted her head off the desk. A bobby pin fell to the floor. One red strand of hair unfurled. Mistress picked up two more balls. Pretend that these are Jupiter and Saturn and that all the planets are spinning and orbiting around the sun. Bam, bam, bam. Jupiter, Mars, and Venus fell to the floor and rolled into the corner. Ping, ping, ping. Bobby pins rained on the floor around Zoe. Oh my, said Miss Trisk. Snap, snap. Rubber bands and scrunchies bounced off the ceiling. Barrettes, headbands, and duct tape rocketed through the air. The hair of Zoe Flippenbacher exploded into the classroom. I can't help, Zoe hollered. I know how to do it. Whap, pop, whoosh, the class gasped. 
Zoe's hair was loose. The kids grabbed their crayons and hid their scissors. Mistress died for the gerbil's cage. Zoe smoothed her hair and raised her hand. Please, Mistress, she said. I want to help. Can I try? Miss Trisk nodded. Zoe's hair picked up Mercury, Venus, the Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and the Sun. The planets spin, said Miss Trisk. The, Zoe's hair spun the planets. As they orbit the Sun, Zoe's hair twirled the planets along their path. That day, the first grade students in Miss Trisk's room learned all about the planets. Miss Trisk learned some things too. My goodness, said Miss Trisk, that is some amazing hair. That's helpful hair. That's handy hair. Zoe Flintwalker had one blue eye and one green eye. And handy, helpful, amazing hair that found a place in first grade. The hair of Zoe Flippenwalker goes to school. As you have discovered, most of the time when I read a storybook, that I pair it with an informational book. But can you imagine what would happen if I had books that taught kids how to cut their own hair? Maybe you are needing more than a haircut. Ainsley Glasgow and her sister Holland showcase the services that are available at their mom's newly relocated salon, Addictive Trends. May you find it a sheer delight. Hey guys, uh, it's Ainsley Holland's big sister, and today I'm going to be showing you a tour of my mom's salon. So let's go. This is a little waiting area where you can sit. Um, over here, you can get your hair done. And if you walk over here, there are shampoo bowls where you can get your hair washed, and then there's dryers. And then over here. Over here is where you can get your nails done. So it's like the nail area. Then you walk into this room and this is where you can get a pedicure or your eyebrows waxed. Okay. Then there's this hallway in this first door you go into little storage room where you put color and just extra stuff storage pretty much and then you go to this door it's a bathroom nothing fancy just bathroom so yeah and then you're gonna walk down the hallway and then this is the break room uh you can eat your lunch in here and you can do laundry and then we have two tanning beds um, this first room is the lay down. And then if you come over to this room, this is the stand up. Yeah. And there's one more room called the hand. <laughs> so, call it, that's just no you're going to be in here. Um. You can hang out, do homework, pretty much anything in here. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching our little tour of our mom's salon. Bye.